Hi guys, it is a hot, sticky day here in the second or third collapse here in the Mayan Empire where I am winding it down here. Um, we are in Bacalar, Mexico. It is a Wednesday. We have reached March. Wednesday, March 1st, 2020. 23. I did not think March was ever going to get here. Anyway, I feel like time has slowed to a crawl here in 2023. But anyway, I want to, uh, we're going to welcome a new voice into the Doomosphere today. I am proud to, uh, to welcome. Now, this person, and I hope, uh, I hope I'm getting your name right. I'm uh, assuming is pronounced Caden, C-A-I-D-E-N, Caden Murphy. And I'm going to go out on a limb here, Caden, and I'm, I'm assuming that Caden is a guy's name. I think it is, uh, but it really is unimportant whether Caden is... A doomer dude or a doomer chick, but it's time for Greta Thunberg to move over because Caden, unless uh, he is making this up, says he is 16 years old. 16 years old. We have a 16 year old at uh, Collapse Chronicles. I can imagine that Caden probably spends most of his life, uh, you know talking with all of his 16-year-old friends about the collapse of a planet and how doomed his generation is. At some point, we might have to get Caden uh, on the show to hear from a 16-year-old uh, who understands how completely doomed he is. Now, Caden is a big fan of the F word, so I'm going to change since this is a, a family show and that maybe we have more young viewers, we're gonna change the F word to the D word, which is doomed. Now, Caden, like somebody else whose feathers I ruffled here recently, needs to, Caden, you, you need to work a little bit on stuff like punctuation, and where one sentence ends and the next one begins. But uh, we're going to, so I'm going to have to do some sort of copy editing as I'm going through Caden uh, Murphy's comment. So this is what the 16 year old doomers are sounding like today. And Caden left about, good Lord, 10 comments yesterday. So I'm just going to start with, I think, the first one through. So we're going to do a little bit of mashup from the voice of a 16-year-old Doomer. Take it away, Caden Murphy. <clears throat> I am so fed up with humanity's bullshit and denial. People are always scared of aliens or meteorites. Then People are always scared of aliens or meteorites killing, I think he means now he's going back from, I don't think he meant to say people are always scared of aliens or meteorites killing everything. Yeah, okay, I guess he is, all right. Uh, people are always scared of aliens or meteorites killing everything that we ourselves are the biggest threat because most of us are stupid, clueless morons who act like zombies walking off a cliff, killing each other and every other species, destroying habitat, pollution, it's all sickening. I wish I could be in a natural place with peace instead of a neighborhood of slums and sad, miserable people with stupid lawns and mindsets. 
we are in a pointless race towards nowhere and in the process we will kill everything amazing and innocent because we are so goddamn stupid and selfish and greedy. Aliens probably think we are stupid barbarians. To continue, every day we doom ourselves deeper and deeper into a stupid doomed hole for no damn reason because we must live this modern lifestyle which kills absolutely everything. It spares no species from extinction. Anything that does not directly benefit us, we immediately let it die for the human tumor to grow and grow. Yuck. I want to cry. Earth is 99% doomed and maybe something will live, but a lot of stuff won't make it through the sixth mass extinction. Well, well, you know what? Guess I'll just enjoy it and try to preserve what little bit of life I can, like cool plants or whatever. That's really all I can do to help. It makes me happy even though we are doomed and there is a very small chance that they would help repopulate the broken, trashed shithole that will be Earth due to brainless apes who think they are actually smart somehow. So, uh, <laughs> this I guess is a personal note to me. I love your videos and sarcasm. Keep up the rants about how doomed everything on this unfortunate planet is. It's nice knowing I'm not crazy and there is someone who actually understands. It makes me feel less alone in this often depressing world. And the tumor of bullshit is growing, in lo is growing larger and larger. I'm 16. And then the F word in all capital letters. <clears throat> hmm, what do, what do 16 year olds think? I, I don't think Caden is going to be a breeder. Uh, overpopulation is so bad. We're like deer without wolves. Eating everything, destroying everything around us with nothing to stop us. Yep, yep, yep. Is that it? Anyway, thank you, uh, thank you, Caitlin Murphy. You know, as I, uh, my comments to, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not Caitlin, I'm sorry, Caden, my comment to Caden Murphy, are you really 16 years old? I think you are the second teenager who has ever showed up here. How many of your peers talk about the collapse of a civilization and a planet? And there you go. So uh, I can, uh, in my other comment, to wrap it up, sounds like you have it pretty well figured out for a teenager or anybody else. So uh, <laughs> something tells me we have not heard the last of Caden, K 
Caden Murphy. Uh, so uh, I want to uh, make it known for the record that Sam Mitchell at Collapse Chronicles was the first one to uh, bring the wise voice of Caden Murphy. And uh, we will see if Caden Murphy can get some of the press that Greta Thunberg has gotten. I was going to read this uh, essay, can't remember, it's on today's mainstream media about how Greta Thunberg is becoming more and more of a doomer chick. This person was talking about uh, how Greta uh, has moved into the dark green uh, area. But now Greta, you know, she still has not come out and said, don't have children. Uh, so... We're still waiting. I have been predicting for years that Greta Thunberg will go darker and darker green. And uh, at some point, uh, Greta will get as dark as Caden Murphy. And then you will never hear Greta Thunberg mentioned again. When, she, when Greta crosses the Caden line, uh, that will be the end of Greta getting any mention on the mainstream media. Anyway, tomorrow is pretty much my last day here in the collapse of everything before heading back to the great state of Texas. So I'm going to get out and enjoy Bacalar, Mexico one more day while I still can. Bye, guys.